Hey guys, okay, so today I've got um, an entire face routine um, with an exfoliator, a toner, and a moisturizer using all natural ingredients. So it's just things that you would have around the house and you can mix together and use on your face. Um, the exfoliator, I've already given you the recipe. It's in my um, lemon facial video. Um, so, and it's just lemon and sugar. And so I've already squeezed out the lemon into this little guy and I don't know if you can some lemon juice in there and really you just want to eyeball it um, just enough for your face and I talked about it in my last video and on my blog but the lemon's got antioxidants and it's got vitamin C which is really great for your skin and it's also um, really great for like if you want to lighten your skin if you've got dark spots or anything um, also like facial hair um, it lightens facial hair a little bit so um, especially if you put it on and then um, get a little bit of sun exposure but not too much because Obviously, uh, too much sun exposure is not good for your skin. So, um, but the if you were to squeeze like the lemon into your hair, you can get great natural highlights that way. So, um, there's a lot of great things you can do with a lemon. I'm gonna have another video for that, so I won't dwell on that too much. Um, the next thing I've got here is sugar, um, and really just eyeball it. Um, and all you're gonna do is mix the sugar and the lemon together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you want it to have kind of a rough consistency. And kind of see see how it is and this is what it kind of looks like okay so then you're just gonna take that and I'm actually gonna apply it to my face and then I'll wash it off and encourage you to try it this is mainly so you can see the method but you just want to take it and apply it to your face and just circles like this so now if you've got any open pimples, any cuts or anything like that, it is going to sting. I don't have any, so I'm okay for today. You want to get it, especially around your nose, because you tend to get a lot of buildup. Oh, I dropped some sugar. So, you just want to rub in circles, gentle circles. You don't want to rub your skin and tug on your skin too much. It's not good for it. Get a little more hair. And make sure you get your neck too. A lot of people don't exfoliate their neck and they should. They're good for you. Get a pretty neck. So you're just going to keep going um, all over your face. And then you can actually do your lips too. Um, it's, a, it's a great exfoliator, so great for your lips. And it tastes really good. It's okay if you get it in your mouth and you end up eating some um, because it's all natural. I'm just going to continue. I'm going to wash my face and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Um, I just washed my face. Um, I scrubbed all around here, um, and I got my nose, and everything is just so soft, um, and it's, I smell good. I smell like a lime. Um, and then I also did my lips, and they're super soft now. All that dry, chappy stuff, um, you know, dries out in the summertime. Should be drinking more water, but um, it's really soft now. Uh, so our next step here is the toner, and that's going to be, um, I made a video called the Green Tea Facial. Um, so that is going to be what we're going to use, and they look kind of like this. Um, you can also not do the ice cube, it's a little bit shocking, it's kind of cold. So um, if you choose not, you know, the cold helps to shrink those pores, but if you don't want to do that, um, you can definitely just brew up some green tea um, for you to drink and pull a little bit aside. You can just take it on a cotton ball and use it on your face, let it cool down a little bit. And what I'm doing is just kind of rubbing it to heat it up a little on top. It'll kind of smooth it out so it's not rough on my face. And then once it starts kind of melting, you can start putting it on your face. And so you're just going to rub it on your face. It's a little bit shocking to the skin, you know, because it's cold. But so good for your for your skin. And so the green tea has antioxidants in it that really help out the skin, um, get rid of those free radicals. You come in contact with that when you go outside. And you probably want to keep a towel under you or again do this over the sink because um, your face is kind of warm and this is just going to melt away and drip all over you which is what it's doing to me now. You're just going to pat your skin dry after this. You can leave this on your skin since it's a toner. And I'll be right back for the moisturizer. 
Okay, so I've patted dried my skin. I've done the toner and um, my skin is nice and tight. Um, and it's cooled down after washing it, washing the lemon, sh lemon and sugar off with the warm water. So now um, we're ready for a moisturizer and what we're going to use is a little bit of honey and I've just got some in a shot glass, it's fine, and then a little bit of milk. And I'm, this is probably too much but I've just got it like this. And so you're just going to pour the milk into the honey and mix it around. I've got it in there like that and you see how it's kind of so you want to mix it. And you want it to be kind of sticky, not too liquidy. And the honey will start to dissolve in the milk. And you can use any kind of milk. Um, I believe we've got 2% or 1% milk. But you can use whole milk, you can use any kind of milk. And the best kind of honey to use is raw honey. Because um, it's got antibacterials and it's just amazing for your skin. Um, but if you've got like just the regular kind of honey that comes in the little bear bottle, that's fine too. And I'm just going to add a little bit more honey. Mine ended up a little bit too liquidy. You don't need very much milk. And the other thing is it is skim milk so it's very thin. Um, if you've got whole milk it'll turn out a little bit thicker. Okay, so it's just thick enough here. It's still a little bit thin but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, put it on my face. This should be okay for me but if um, if it does end up being this thin just because you've got skim milk, you can soak it up with a cotton ball and put it on your face and it works just fine. And you are going to rinse this moisturizer off, but you just want to leave it on for like 20 minutes. So I'm just going to apply how it is on my finger here. Just get it around the eyes. On the nose. And I always, when I put things on my face, I always apply it in circles. I just feel like it's easier on this rubbing like that. It's not, it's not good for it. So always want to be gentle with your skin. I know there's exfoliant, and I talked about the St. Ives one that I use every day. That one can be really, really rough. You have to be extremely careful when you're using it because it's going to make your face red and blotchy if you are rubbing on your face that hard. This stuff smells great. Tastes good, too. You can put it on your lips, too. Alright, so I'm going to leave this on for about 20 minutes. I'm not going to make you sit there and wait for me. So um, I'm going to do that. I will be back to show you my final results. And you are going to rinse this off. And, um, and then you're just going to pat dry. So I'm going to let my honey work for me. I'll be right back. Hey, okay, so <clears throat> I rinsed off the milk and honey. And I patted dry. And my skin is super smooth. And it's, it's glowing, um, which is thanks to the honey. Um, so I want you guys to give this routine a try. I'm sure you've got most of this stuff around the house, and even if you don't, it's so cheap to get it. Um, let me know how it works for you. Leave a comment. And if you've got any recipes that you want me to try out, let me know um, in, in the comments. Uh, if your skin is a little bit on the dry side, a way to add moisture to this routine is to just drop in a few drops of olive oil. Um, you can put that in the exfoliator along with the lemon and sugar, and you can also put that in the moisturizer at the end with um, honey and milk. And the thing with olive oil is it's not always so pleasant to the nose, so if you want to drop in a little bit of orange extract, a little bit of rose extract, or vanilla, one of those type of scents will cover up the olive oil and make your skin smell nice. Um, so that's all I have for now. Let me know what you guys think, how it works out for you, and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.